In this video, we are going to do the final part of displacement, velocity and acceleration. You will find this on page 353 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. A ball was thrown vertical upwards from a point O. At the time T seconds, its velocity was V meters per second and its acceleration was negative 10 meters per second square. Okay? Acceleration was this. Now express this information in the form of a differential equation. Okay, so all that we say is A, we know, okay, can I just show you again our little table? So it is distance, velocity, acceleration. If we go to this side, we differentiate. And if we're going to this side, we differentiate. And if we're coming back, we integrate. Coming back, we integrate. I just want to show you that because this is in terms of time, that basically, if I'm differentiating there, I'm saying ds over dt. Okay, so, so this is representing velocity. And this, I'm saying dv over dt. And this is, is representing as, um, acceleration. Okay, so just keep this in mind, especially in the explanation here. So dv over dt is this. That's enough. Express then number B, the initial velocity. Initial means T, what, what does initial mean? It means T will be equal to zero. Beginning um, was 12 meters per second. Shows that was for the velocity when T was zero. So velocity was then 12 meters per second. Show that V equals this. Okay, so I'm at the acceleration. If I want to come back, I must integrate. That's what I did there. So I'm getting, don't forget, it's indefinite. So don't forget to write your C1. But when initial t is 0, v is 12. I substitute that. And then I get C1 is 12. And then I substitute it in that. And there is the equation that they asked me. Okay. Find an expression for the height of the stone above O after t seconds. Now height is s. Okay, are you with me? Now I have velocity, but what will I do? I will integrate again to get s. And that's what I did. There's my velocity. I integrate. Don't forget to see. But then I say when t is zero, s is zero. And when there's no time, there was no movement. Okay. And I get and I just substitute that. Okay, now this last one is coming to the turning point. But can you just, if you want to compare the previous video, I just want to show you the difference. This was time, but now it's going to be distance. So it's S and T. In the previous video, it was V and T. Okay, but the principle stays the same. I'm just working with this two. In the previous video, I was working with that two. Okay, so we start. What was the velocity of the ball when it reaches its greatest height? Greatest means maximum point. Maximum, minimum point means turning points. Okay, so when it reaches its greatest height, V was equal to zero. That means that this, when it was reaching... After I differentiate, it means, and I, I want to show you even here, it means that ds over dt, that is my derived function, which is v, which is that uh, negative 10 t plus, oh, plus 12. And don't forget that if you were working turning points, if you were putting in the place of that ds over dt or dy over dx, you were putting a zero. And that's what I did there. Okay. So I was just, when it reaches its greatest height, 
v and d were equal to zero. So what was the velocity of the ball when it reaches its greatest height? Okay, just v is equal to zero, okay? Now I go on. How long did the ball take to reach the greatest height? Now I'm just putting the zero there, the one I mentioned in the, in the first part, and I'm just solving this and I get after 1.2 seconds. And what was that height? Now, now I know that this is 1.2, so I know the x value is 1.2, but I want to know the y value, and the y is now represented by s. So I'm, I'm taking this 1.2 and I substitute it in my original formula, and that's s. So in the place of s, I'm going to now, I use the s formula, there I got it, can I just show you? Uh, there's the S formula. Can I just use another color? This is, and I just substitute that 1.2 in the place of S, and I get 7.2 meters. So it's just, if you go back to previous videos, it's just explaining the turning point, the stationary points. Okay. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do try now 39 number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. A ball was thrown vertical downwards from the top of an empty mine shaft. So now you're standing on top and you throw it down. After t seconds, its velocity was v meters and and its acceleration was 10 meters per second squared. Okay, express this information in the form of a differential equation. Now, it's exactly as I said in the previous one. So it's A, and don't forget that A, and I want again, I know it's maybe, but S, V, A. Don't forget that this is differentiation, This is differentiation. And if I go back, this is integration. This is integration. And now, don't also forget, and I want to write, um, now I need another color, um, that this is ds over dt. And this is dv over dt. And that's why I write A. What is, what is A? It's dV over dt. dV over dt. And that is T. Okay. That is in the terms of a differential. Expressed in the form of a differential equation. Okay. Because it was acceleration that was T. And that's why it's A. Okay. Number B. The first one. After one second, the ball was traveling at 18 meters. What is that? What is that? That is V. Okay, meters per second. So, I want you now to move from A to V. So, what do I want you to do? To integrate. So, I can say to get V, because I'm looking for it, I'm going to take that 10, the acceleration, and I'm going to integrate it to T. And if I integrate that, remember it's indefinite, it's open, there's no boundary, so don't forget C. So it's going to be 10, and I'm integrating to T, so it's going to be 10, T, and let's call it C1, because I can integrate again, okay. Now I start, I say when T is equal to 1. Okay, a ball is thrown up shop after, uh, after y is t1, because this stands t is 1. So when t is 1, what was v? v is equal to 18. And now I'm just going to substitute. So in the place of v, I'm going to put 18. In the place of t, I'm going to put 1 plus c1. And that's going to give me 18 minus 10 is equal to C1. So, therefore, C1, what is C1? It's 8. And, don't forget, 
Just substitute V is equal to 10T plus that 8. Okay. It's almost like I want to underline it. Just to, to let it stand out. Okay. Now, I'm starting with the second one. B2. Show that the initial, now remember initial velocity is always when t is t is equal to zero. Okay, so I'm just going to say, I like to write in yellow, initial velocity when t is equal to zero so that is going to be now in the place of t i'm going to put zero and that's going to give me that eight meters per second okay um can i move it up a little bit yes Unless I just see the question still. Okay, now show that the initial, we are finished, we are at number C. Uh, what, what is it? After T is the displacement of the ball. Okay, I want to move it a little bit down. I can even do C here. Okay, let's do C here. I mean, white is going. I just want to see the color. No, it's not good enough. Okay. Okay. So, after T is the place, the displacement for the shop was S meters. Find the expression for S in terms. Now, remember, and I must move it still a little bit down. If you want to go from velocity to S, what will you do again? You are going to integrate again. So, to get S, I integrate this velocity, uh, um, yes, 1, and that is going to be 10t plus 8. Don't forget, I integrate to t. And that's going to give me 10t2 over 2 plus 8t plus c2. Don't forget that. It's indefinite integration. Okay, but now we will start with again. When t is zero, when this, they didn't move any time, what will s always be? S will also be no, no, no movements. So no time, no movement. So zero. So therefore, if I'm substituting it in there, I can say s, that was five, remember, and that was zero squared plus eight zero plus c2. So I can end up by saying, okay, therefore c2 is equal to 0 and s is equal to, okay, 5 t squared plus 8 T. I just substitute it in there. Okay. Now, now comes the last one. After four seconds, the ball hit the bottom of the shaft. How deep was the shaft? Okay. So it's actually very going to be very nice, that last one. Remember that was I. I'm going to do the last one in red. Because now they give you the time. So when... No, no, let's make it first yellow. I always like to write that in yellow. When t is 4, okay, s will be equal. I think I'm going to make it red. I just substitute 4 in here. In this, in this, this is the, this is the displacement, this is the distance, okay. And that is going to give me, okay, so it's five times, and I if I just simplify, it's 112 meters. That was 
How deep was the shaft? The shaft was, therefore, you can even in nice, nice, okay, let me do that. Therefore, the, just want to let it down, sure. Deep. Okay, so therefore the shaft was 112 meters deep, and that's the end of the video.